It's gonna be ASAP Rocky versus Clove. Oh, another Falcon. Who's Andre? Th who's Andre Three Stacks? I'm assuming that? that's Rocky. Three, two, yeah, ASAP Rocky. One, yeah. Go! Oh, okay. So we have um, a gimmick Link and a uh, Falcon. <laughs> Um, I've been thinking a lot about um, Sword Fighter. I mean, like, obviously, you know, our favorite Numbies play Sword Fighter. But I'm seeing yeah. a lot of discourse when it comes to Sword Fighter as of late. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I would assume that Falcon would have the advantage in a matchup like this. It's kind of hard to say just because I don't exactly know how the Sword Fighter wants to approach a neutral. Because for a long time, I thought it was just going to be the typical, like, Fire Emblem and Space, but it's actually quite on the contrary, because you notice a lot of like multi hits. And so you would think that instead of spacing, they kind of just zone in forward throughout their multi hit and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. um, but it's hard to say, like, there's certain characters that have disjoints that just flat out beat out multi hits. Yeah. And there are those where, like, Falcon, who's more about getting close up, who kind of struggles against Sword. So it's hard to say. Yeah, um, but I, but I would say, um, out of all the sword characters, like, new sword fighter, um, that was, then that was a nice call out on the, uh, Falcon kick out off the ledge by Asap Rocky. But, um, I would say that sword fighter, out of, you know, uh, the sword characters in this game, definitely has laggy buttons. Like, uh, you do have to respect down tilt, though. Down tilt is the one button that's, like, plus a million. So when it hits your shield, you do have to respect it. True. But, um, yeah, but good stuff, um, by Clove calling out that. Approach option by Rocky. Uh, I really, I really like how um, Rocky using a lot of the chop room and not really spamming the tornado sometimes. Because it, it is a good kill confirm at later, later percents, but it is a laggy option. You can't get you blown up if you spam it too much. Yeah, for sure. And oof, <laughs> that would have been a devastating punish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, Clo yeah, Clove is just struggling to get in consistently, and it's not really because of Rocky's sword play, it's actually because of his Oni. <laughs> his, his Oni with the Chakram is pretty on point. Yeah, for sure, and you're noticing Clove kind of getting desperate, doing a lot of burst options, like without the kick. Mm -hmm. um, that said though, it's 55%, not bad. Yeah, that was like, I was about to say that's probably the one opening that Clove needed. Got a quick, got a quick 64 off of that interaction. It's a, a rocky thought like a panic out of match option. But um, with that being said, Edge guarded with the Nair, and that's what you have to do against Falcon. Yeah, I really like that Nair. It covers the low recovery and also the horizontal recovery. Okay, so uh, that Shuhu thing that he did went for the down air, um, that could semi spike really hard. Um, if you're not prepared for it. Ooh. So we'll go on Coral for immediately up, up being, because I couldn't agree with that. Ooh. Ooh, finally gets the Falcon pick kill. Yeah, and, yeah, and um, Colb actually pulled back on the down air in that situation. We kind of baited uh, Rocky into a to try to punish him that, and he got punished for the Falcon pick instead. Good stuff, Colb. Okay, that roll behind the smash four tactic. Works every time. Yeah, and um, that was a good recovery by Clove going high, not even not even messing with that uh, edge guard going low, because he didn't lose his stock before going low. So. Doesn't get the F tilt tech chase. Yeah, and right now, um, Clover's actually getting caught a lot jumping out the corner, which is, um, it's something that's, like, you know, really, really popular in this game because jumping is really good. But he's getting, getting clipped a lot by jumping out the corner. Um, and he's up just covering that jump option, uh, jump option consistently. Yeah, indeed. And what I'm noticing a lot is when ASAP Rocky is holding shield, it's not really taking the opportunity to get the grab and get, like, the throw. So what I want to see more is definitely a lot more like empty hot beats. That's like a really good way of getting the grab. But also just like if you're constantly throwing out a burst option and you know your opponent's shielding, at that point you kind of have to mix up. Oh no! Oh no! You know what? Okay, so <laughs> I was really finished. But when you got hit by that initial back air, 
I said to myself, um, either A, he doesn't have his jumps. I didn't think Rocky had his jumps when he got caught with that back air. Oh no, he did have one jump. And then I was just like, how is he going to get back? Because Clove was just on it, right? And I was just about to say, um, even though it seems like Rocky has been dictating the whole pace, um, he did have, he has been having trouble securing that stock, right? And even though he has been in the stock lead, he's been getting stocks at like later percents compared to what Clove was doing. So, um, this is why Falcon's a better character. He, got, he just got a little bit outpaced. Yeah, for certain. Really taking advantage of that rage there. Getting that kill. Let's see that counter pick. Yeah, well, um, you know, good stuff by Clove, though. Because it, it did seem like... Um, Rocky was in control of that that whole game one, to be honest. Uh, and he just he just stuck to the game plan. He kept pressing forward. He kept trying to press the issue against Rocky, um, especially with Rocky kind of struggling to get killed. He's just like, okay, cool, that's what I'm gonna do. But then we see you see the double switch. Um, we see Clove though with Samus and Rocky going with Mega Man. I mean, I agree wow. um, with moving up the tier list with Mega Man, but uh, Clove go! going Samus. What do you think of that? Clove going Samus, it's, mm, it's hard to say. I would say maybe Clove's anticipating the counter pick and didn't okay. want to deal with another close game because that was pretty risky. You know, even though Clove did cut it out, you know, one seven on your last stop. You know, it's never a situation you want to constantly put yourself in, and so I'm going to predict that Clove is just going to play the way, just throw out any sort of projectile he has on deck, and uh, kind of just play the zone with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just also thinking, like, what is that in, in response to, right? Like, what in that game one made you support Samus? But right now, it looks like it's working out for him, and um, I totally understand why um, Rocky would switch to Mexico. Um, um, but uh, right now, I see Clove um, in the lead right now, and he's been doing a very good job of pushing Rocky to the ledge. But now you see Rocky. Oh my god, that was that, that jump was so risky. <laughs> Just threw it all in the basket. Why would you do that? <laughs> god bless you, so. <laughs> Clean. Yeah. Um, we'll see how, you know, let's see how uh, um, Rocky calls out the stock first. Um, get an early stock for once. Yeah, and you see them just both trying to look for any type of picking farm into anything. And Rocky with the first blood. It's a small stage. Yeah. And that was good patience with that Rocky come out of the corner. Um, sometimes, you know, when you get hit by a certain attack from the shield, like, you immediately want to punish it, but Rocky with the patience, she's jumping out of the corner, she's cutting neutral, not taking the bait of the down smash. And, yeah, um, that move should have got bodies. Yeah, right. And, no, it, yeah, mm -hmm. sorry? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, right here, um, you're noticing this a lot more, um, this time Rocky is kind of just throwing out the shield, and it's working out beautifully, because every time Clove tries to do a short hop air, he just gets interrupted, and suddenly, like, he's not still out as effectively as he used to, which I think is kind of damaging the spear sense, but if you want to be able to do in this scenario, it's really difficult, you have so many quick projectiles coming out of the way. Oh, what? Mm, did you? Okay, so what happened there? It looks like Clove just tried to up the a shield, and it clashed with the leaf shield, and it made some, like, it almost looked like a shine spark in Smash 4. Um, <laughs> if, he, if he died off the top, I would have shut down the stream. Just um, and every time I hear the name shine spark, it gets such bad PTSD. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you're Luigi. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, um... I've only been here by it twice. Only twice. Um, Rocky's still with the lead, um, and seems like this, you know, in this 
In this game too, he's been outpacing Clove a little bit more than he was in game one. And I think one thing that um, he has been doing is that he he is noticing that Clove isn't dealing with the Leaf Shield the best. And it just also seems like Rocky is playing a little bit more, a little bit more reserved um, than he was in stock one. I think he has a rhythm for what Clove time is supposed to be for. He's giving him a little bit, a little bit of space, letting Clove swing a little bit, and just kind of done with fun. Yeah, you see Clove a little bit scared there. Didn't really approach ledge, just kept mid stage. Mm -hmm. Kind of don't want to do that at these percents. You kind of do want to take the risk and get that stock on, because if you don't, then suddenly you're desperate for that kill. You leave yourself open. Yeah. One thing. One thing I will now that forward to kill them off of the other. Um, wow. One thing I will say about Clove's Amos is it definitely is a lot more reserved than his Falcon. Um, you see him really crushing the issue less. Um, getting getting his back air caught, getting his jump caught by the back air. Uh, you do see him way more reserved um, with his Samus than his Falcon. Um, and you know, I just you know, I just wonder, right, like what he saw in the game one that would maybe want to make him switch to Sam's and play a little bit more reserve. But um even really like good stuff to Rocky. Yeah definitely definitely it's probably just a confidence thing, you know, because I think when you play a character like Falcon online, you know, you do have that worry in the back of your mind like, oh, is this burst option gonna come out in time? Is my air dodge bait gonna work out or are they gonna hold shield? And so Samus kind of ignores all those rules. Um so I can I can understand the pick, but me personally, like I think if you're pretty good with one character, it's good to kind of focus on that rather than a character where you're kind of just committing to a strategy that's pretty much been played against by a lot of different players. It's like yeah. a neutral versus flow chart thing. Yeah, I think you're giving Falcon means way too much credit for thinking. Um, <laughs> but um. um <laughs> <laughs> but uh we're, we're gonna see and um i do like to switch back to falcon for clove um i do think that a character like falcon against like either of the zoners um when it comes to mega man or sword fighter uh is a much better pick than samus uh you have a lot more options to break the zone with falcon you have dash attack you have falcon kick you have raptor boost right there are a bunch of things you can do you can definitely harass both these uh or a character like Mega Man off stage, really hard. So. And immediately, and immediately punishing that Leaf Shield, right? That he was having problems with in um, game two. <laughs> yeah, Clove just being able to rush in a lot more. Again, already you can see you can see Clove just um, putting a lot more pressure, closing a lot a lot more ground um, with Falcon when it comes to even Rocky throwing a leap shield because I feel like every single leap shield that he's thrown out thus far, um, he's we gotten pushed to the edge of the stage or gotten punished for. It. So definitely a change already you can see from the game two. Certainly, sure. certainly. Ooh, that was an interesting exchange. <laughs> if he if he would have upbeat and caught him, ooh, that that's what I thought he was gonna do in my head. But um, he he played a safe and kept safe safe position, which I respect. Rocky keeping it close though. Rocky keeping it close, like you know, one he's one edge guard away from taking this stuff before. before. I will put that down there, did I get it? Uh, I was gonna get off the ledge. He's gonna jump? No? Yeah, and you see Rocky scouting that jump really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, up in the middle of the stage, okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, catching that jump off the ledge. Um, I think the up in the middle of the stage is that uh, Falcons do like using that up the other shield. It's about a frame 10. It's about, it's about a frame 10. Um, option, so add a shield, I believe. So I'm um, about to do like using that add a shield to not be. Um, it's probably 
probably something like that. Most likely. Once eighty five percent. At this point I think Club should kind of throw out the first option, but I don't blame Club it doesn't. It's kinda of hard. I think you either have to condition the shield and then go for like the up e, or if they're not conditioned to shield, then either catch jump with back airs, which is kind of what Clove has always been doing, or just throw out a random burst option. That's kind of what you have to do as a Falcon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially online, right? You need to kind of use that. Ooh, an untackable style. <laughs> <Okay. though. laughs> well, that works fine. I wonder if the forward tilt was intentional or. Oh, you meant to get a dash attack. Um, but yeah, yo, I'll say this Rocky air dodging back to the ground and him just landing as Mega Man has been pretty, pretty funny to watch. Let's see if both are gonna play with Doc here. Um, seems like Doc is gonna be out basically over in this scenario. Oh. Thank you for the subscription. Oh, who was that? Uh, Lady Sylvia? I don't quite know. Like oh, okay. Yeah. No, no. yeah. But I appreciate the uh, thank you message. Lee. Appreciate it. Yeah, and going uh, back to this. Game. And ooh, what the up here? Up the edge. Yeah, oh, looking for that stomp at the edge. You know, we, ha we haven't seen a lot of stuff off stage coming up. I feel like if anything, Lock is going to kind of be like edge guarding. Just oh, like that. Oh, that was such a nice edge guard. <laughs> Yeah, I was just about to say, um, that's thing. It's, it seems like Cole hasn't been going for a lot of head guards, right? Like, uh, even though he was uh, punishing a little bit harder in neutral, um, just wasn't really going for any edge guards. It, it feels like after game one, Cole kind of played, played like way more reserved. <laughs> Where Rocky was the one playing, um, way more aggressive compared to game one. Pretty interesting stuff. But, um, that's a lot of me. Two hundred twelve percent, bro. <laughs> I will be right back. <laughs> 